How's it going guys? Today we'll be taking a look at using LG's 29 inch ultra wide monitor for gaming. Yes, you've heard that right. How does this budget ultra wide monitor perform with its 21 by 9 aspect ratio, 75Hz refresh rate, and some advanced gaming tweaks that can be gaming friendly? Hi, my name is Ken and welcome back to the channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography, iPad Pro related content and tech. If any of this piques your interest, consider subscribing to the channel as you may learn a thing or two from these videos. Here are all of the topics that we'll be discussing. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Let's dive right in. In case you have yet to check out my other videos about the LG 29WK600 Ultra Wide Monitor, from the unboxing to the 3 months review and onto some specific everyday tasks using the Ultra Wide, I'll leave a drop down card on the right hand side for you to check it out later. With that out of the way, let's dive right in. In terms of gaming, the bigger the monitor, the more immersive the gaming experience. So with that being said, this 29 inch Ultra Wide Monitor offers a large screen display with a rather unique 21 by 9 aspect ratio for Ultra Wide gaming. Way back in 2015, not all games supported Ultra Wide. There were fixed but they weren't completely stable. In the last few years, more and more developers are becoming aware that ultra wide 21 by 9 resolutions are a thing. So don't worry in case you think that there aren't games that support ultra wide gaming. The record breaking new game Valheim also supports 21 by 9 ultra wide gaming. And to my surprise, I am able to select the maximum resolution and FPS in the settings. If you're into Phasmophobia, that was released recently as well, it also supports this resolution. A little thing to take note is that by default, the monitor doesn't apply the 75Hz refresh rate. Instead, you will have to do it manually. So you can do it by heading to your display settings on your desktop, advanced display settings, display adapter properties for this monitor, go to monitor and select your refresh rate to 75Hz. I've then verified this using the refresh rate UFO test and it is good to go. As mentioned earlier, this monitor offers a refresh rate of 75Hz which is about 15% higher than the standard 60Hz refresh rate. The higher the refresh rate, the smoother the motions and the faster you'll be able to respond to certain actions, mainly for FPS games. For people who are looking into getting a slight edge using this monitor for gaming, you can have that extra 15Hz. But I wouldn't recommend this monitor purely for gaming as there are better 144Hz gaming monitors out there for about the same price. The extra 15Hz should give you a better refresh rate when gaming, but keep in mind your hardware must be able to support the higher refresh rates for you to enjoy the smoothness. Apart from this, there is a handful settings to play around in the game address section from the joystick control. You have response time from off to normal, fast and faster, depending on the movement of the content. For FPS games that have lots of motion, it's recommended to set it to faster. There is also black stabilizer settings that adjust the black saturation levels making dark images stand out better in dark scenes. And my favourite game setting which is a crosshair feature which literally adds a crosshair in the middle of the screen mainly suited for FPS games. You get to choose from a dot to a cross, either green or grey colour. Any FPS games that requires a crosshair for aiming this would be helpful. And lastly, AMD Free Sync that fixes choppy gameplay and broken frames when playing game. Of course I have not tested this out since I was using an Nvidia card. All in all, for me, having that extra 15Hz refresh rate and the built-in gaming settings available is an absolute plus point for this 39-inch ultra-wide monitor. This will be one of the many features of this monitor has to offer, and to be able to game on this just makes this an all-rounder budget ultra-wide monitor to have. But for the ultimate gaming experience, a curved ultra-wide monitor will be best suited for the most immersive gaming experience. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. Hope you all find this insightful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. As always, I will see you all very, very soon. Stay safe, peace out, and bye-bye.